you guys are doing well. Say morning. Morning. I wanted to make an order on Take A Lot for a glass kettle. But the brand that are there, I'm not familiar with apart from Russell Hobbs. My husband really loves Russell Hobbs. But then it's like an arm and a leg. I'm not about to pay for a kettle that is 800 rand. I feel, okay, maybe if I had, sometimes you feel something that's very expensive because you don't have the money. But then sometimes, man, like refusing to pay that much for a kettle is, I don't know, it's, it probably can be called no. smart shopping. I don't know, but but yeah, I, I'm sure if I had more than that, maybe I would I would be willing to pay for it. But yeah, the glass kettle I had back, like in Namibia, it was a Safeway kettle. I bought it in case it was, I bought it for 300 or 319, no, 300. Yeah, so um, I saw that um, Clicks has it here and I will just make time to, to buy it another time. Unfortunately, clicks. Um, if I had to buy it directly from their from their website, they will take about six days for it to get here, and I'm not about to wait for that long. So um, I just let it go. So instead, I just bought what I had to buy on. Antilla. Um, on Checker Sixty. So that's where I do my grocery shopping. If I'm unable to go out of the house, which is the case, which is the case almost every day <laughs> with this whole pandemic and yeah, I, I make your order just now, so it's gonna <laughs> get here around 11 or sooner. Um, sooner would be great because there's stuff that I need inside there. And um, yeah, so I want to show you guys what I did yesterday night. It's amazing how when you ask the Holy Spirit for help, there is nothing too small or nothing too big to ask help about from the Holy Spirit. Does that did that make sense? There like you can't say, Oh no, I can't ask the Holy Spirit what I should wear or I can't ask the Holy Spirit um what item to buy when i'm in the shop because sometimes you find yourself in the shop you didn't plan to go or sometimes you did plan but for me i love asking the holy spirit to guide me on what to shop because sometimes you think you know what to buy but when you get home you're like uh i wasn't supposed to get this but when the holy spirit is the one who's actually guiding you trust me there are no regrets so i want to show you guys what i did in the kitchen yesterday night after asking the Holy Spirit to help me make my house a home. So you see this door here. Mm -hmm. This door right here. Right here. Because I was always tired of the microwave being here because I just didn't have a lot of space to work with please don't mind the mess um yeah so i didn't have so much space to work with and to put my fruit basket because the microwave took this entire space and then here we have the dish area the dish washing area so i couldn't really do much just you know so i'm trying to get the glass kettle to replace this one I don't like this is so hot like and I, that's just not my style yeah so and i did this and i i'm i, I really am so happy with this so up here i'm gonna put like um um yesterday i'm gonna put um the sugar coffee and thingy here i think or i'm gonna put the fruit box no no i'm gonna put the fruit basket there so i'm gonna put like i think a cookie jar there and uh i don't know i'll see but yesterday night like before i i went to bed i just like i just thought of this it's amazing when you ask the holy spirit that he <clears throat> like i didn't even i never thought of it i i really it's not like i've been pondering and i'm like oh okay let me you know like i didn't like i just looked and and it doesn't the holy spirit was like remove that door you know and because i really just wanted to like i want to make my house a home and i just wanted to look really 
nice and because i we wanted to move but because of this whole pandemic thing we we're just like you know what i think just chill for a while and just you know and I'm, I'm like lord i know i know you are the most creative in fact if not you are the one i mean you created us you know you create you created this creative beings you know that are walking the earth now and i'm telling you when you ask the holy spirit to put an idea into your head he's gonna do it and it's even gonna blow your mind so i'm just like what i've been here for three years and i never thought of doing that so that just gives enough space on the countertop and i'm really glad the holy spirit um helped me with that so i'll just i'm just waiting for my stuff to come through and um yeah because most of the stuff that i shop today is breakfast stuff for me especially so, so I totally forgot <laughs> to film how this came. So I'm just busy packing, unpacking the grocery. I'm done unpacking this one. So I'm about to unpack this one. I'm taking Tahila for a walk. Tahila and my sister. Because, yeah, that's literally her love language, one of her love languages. Tahila is a lot like me. I love um, to spend like, quality time. I love walk. I love massages. That's basically me. So, Tahila, you really need to that side of me. Are we going for a walk? Mm, Tova, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, people. Hi, Kuzma. They turn to you. For comfort, they turn to you. We're just gonna go to the park um it has been drizzling um the side so i'm not sure i hope the seats aren't as wet or well, not wet at all for me to sit down um i did not bring a blankie or anything like that so we're not really gonna be there for long it's just to satisfy the urge in tahila to actually walk so she has been asking me for a walk for like the whole week she also asked the dad yesterday for the whole week. So I'm, I'm taking them today and then he's gonna take them like another day or whatever. Mommy. The case may be yeah. he's busy with work, so yeah. It's a beautiful day here in Johannesburg. Oh, you didn't bring your ball, eh?
They lost the child They lost the friend They lost the spouse Oh, it's not getting easy Their hearts are hurting Their hearts are broken In different pieces So I'm asking you To please take it Lord And meant it Cause on their own Walk there. Come. Walk there. Walk. It's okay, Mama. It's secure. Okay. Come. Come. You want Mommy to hold your hand? Stand up and walk properly. Come, hold Mommy's hand. Come. Stand up, Mama. It's fine. It's safe, my baby. Look, it's fine. Come, hold Mama. Let's go. Stand up. Up. Walk. Stand up. It's okay, Baba. It's safe, my baby. You don't want. No. Should mommy get you off? All right, come. Come off now. Push Tehila wants to go to the slide but the problem is she had to like literally walk on this bridge <laughs> but because of the fact that it's so jiggly and wiggly like she, she doesn't trust it at all so now she's there and it doesn't work like that way she doesn't know that she actually has to come from the top to, to be a child is so nice because you don't really have to go through the whole stress of thinking oh okay this is how it's done like you just think of the possibility of it but you don't actually care about the process per se like you don't care what the process is like for you you just think of the end result when i grow up i just want to be like a child hmm? oh it's 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 wet it's, in fact it's wet it's good that you didn't go mommy didn't bring any tissue or anything it's wet mama you can't do this light today hmm. But it's wet, Sahila. It's uh, no, 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 mommy. It's wet. Please. What? I don't know what she's saying, but yeah, we'll have to head back home. I think now I wish I actually brought a blanket or something like that. Yeah. Come, come and put on shoes. Yes. Oh, I wish I brought her ball because the idea was just to come and not really spend much time here at the park. But I totally forgot that once Tehila gets here, it's she's like her and the park are like paper and glue. But of course, when she's tired, she does say, "Mommy, let's go home." So she doesn't stay here for quite a long time. And I'm not sure. Probably was hot the other time. She's basic. She's literally like her dad in this area. She hates heat with all her entire being i know we all hate heat but tehila has zero tolerance for heat yeah and the problem is i can't really make her go like like play properly properly because i'm having tova and i didn't bring like a blanket to put tova down so that i play with i don't know why i didn't think about this probably i wasn't supposed to come here because now Tehila wants to go full on, like she literally wants to explore. Have children, they say. It's gonna be fun, they say. Well, it is fun. It's very fun. You also wanna go? You wanna go? You also wanna go? Sister also wanna go. Take sister on there, she also wants to go. Sister wants to go to Hila. <laughs> come, come and get her. Come get her. 
No, don't climb on your own, please. So I keep Tova's hair in this bunch of knots because her hair is very curly and they tend to um, just really not a lot um not very curly per se but when i say curly i'm talking about the not the mixed kind of the soft curly um however if you do if i when i use because i'm coming up with a range actually for kitties i'm just like working on it and i'm testing it on their hair but keeping it in bunting off is so easier yes Tehila? it's so easier to work with it um if they need to go fishy somewhere but when they are like just in bands, um, it doesn't also help with the growing of the hair because every time I need to comb it out, I always experience knots and stuff. So keeping it in bunch of knots, I'm actually going to redo Tehila's hair um, today because it's it's quite old now. Like, look at that. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> hey, welcome to mommy's channel. Thank you. And I'm trying to climb by myself. And Dada and Klein. And sister and Klein. Oh man, come Taylor, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this jacket to put her down. Your hearts are broken in different pieces. So I'm asking you to please take it long and mend it. Cause on their own, they cannot make it. They turn to For mommy, please, Tehila. Yes, Baba. Bring the key. Yes, Baba. Mm. Yes, when you go to that age. Hi, morning. <laughs> Tehila, bring the key for mommy, please. They turn to you. Hi. She's busy admiring how they can actually climb on and jump off. So I'm busy telling her that when she gets older, she'll be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, because she keeps on saying, Mom, look, Mom, look. And she's like, careful, careful. And I'm telling her that, no, they're actually big kids. So they can actually do it by the toes, huh? Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Oh, bye. Masi also go by. Masi also say by. Masi go home. Home. So Tehila, um, they were like some grown kids that came to play. Like, um, I think they are like three years older than her. So they are able to actually play on the like play on the uh, um, on the um, like is it the, the the park thingy, yeah. And they are able to like jump off by themselves. And now she's complaining. You see, she's like. It's hard. And 
so she sees these kids jumping off and she's like mommy and she's like careful careful and she's like mommy look 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 and i'm like yeah baby when you grow older you'll be able to actually get on by yourself and jump off so she was really admiring um the whole the fact that the, that girl had the ability to to like get on without any assistance and jump off so yeah is it hot we go home Say bye everyone. Say look bye everyone. Look in the camera. Mm -hmm. Say bye. Mm -hmm. Say mwah. Mommy. Yeah. No mommy. <laughs> no mommy. Should we go home? Uh -uh. Must we go home? You wanna go with them? Mm -hmm. I really can't wait to, to launch because we really have exciting um, products on the line so yeah man and just a, a lot of exciting things are happening and 2021 is starting off a good note i feel 2020 was also fine like it was so good like um, i think we just got everything in a high dose because hey people die like it's like it's not strange to us i feel what is strange to us is the fact that everybody died like in such a high number um all at once and stuff like that that is what is the strangest that's what we're not used to as human beings but hey you know um i feel we just got everything in a high dose because eventually you know one is gonna die you know but dying before your time is what i think is very scary um yeah so guys i feel it's just a but it's a matter of just <coughs> restructuring your um your mind um, and just really try to read books that will keep you on a positive note or in, on a positive mindset and just really continue the bible says jesus said occupy while i come meaning you know continue doing what you're supposed to do um while i come you know and um yeah so don't live in fear and at the same time i'm not saying be ignorant and just live as if the world is never gonna end world is not gonna come or live know irresponsibly no but what i'm saying is that don't let fear be in the forefront let god be in the forefront yep, yep. you know you get what i mean so yeah no, so and no. all of those people who who did die of covid or whatever no. they they took precautions everybody take precautions and not everybody goes out into the world and just say hey i want to die you get what i mean unless if, of course um um the ones who, 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 who did um commit suicide those are uh, like i'm not referring to those but people who go out there and actually you know, go back home alive nope they didn't plan to go out there and die so live your best life and when i say best life don't be um don't be careless you know what i mean because there are people who love you and there's still a purpose that you need to fulfill and by you fulfilling that purpose there are a lot of people that are tied to your um to, your, to, your, to you fulfilling your purpose be home must we go home okay so yeah, we have to go home. But just come to think of it, if those people who have companies um, where a lot of people are employed today, imagine if they just decided not to answer the call um, or decided to walk away again. A lot of people would have been in a, in a, un, un, wow, unemployed. So think about it. Whenever you think of fulfilling your dream, working hard towards your dream, you're not just doing it for you. Apart from doing it for like, um, you know, to be, um, to, to, to work to live like generational work for your children other people as well because at some point we are all connected and in this on this earth we are all at some point we are all connected like if, like if we are if we do what we're supposed to do you will realize that actually you know we are all connected like all our wealth health um, well-being is actually connected to someone else you know and when you don't do what you're supposed to do like i said you're not just depriving yourself from living a, a purpose filled life but you're depriving someone else whose whose destiny is connected to your to you fulfilling your your purpose and stuff like and i'm not saying god is if someone else doesn't fulfill your purpose that you're just gonna live a miserable life but it's easier when some when, when you just do what you're supposed um to do so have a great day guys and um, happy saturday Over Valley Moon